Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm actually not even filming this video on stream today, which is not that common for the types of videos on my channel these days. It's really just good to just do it on stream. It's way more natural, but I forgot to do this one today and I really wanted to post this because guys, this is going to be officially, even with creating content, my last week on FIFA 21, literally. Like I won't be playing this game after this weekend. I don't even know if I'm going to do anything this weekend, but I think by the, by the time we get to next week, all of my content, everything is not going to be really based on FIFA 21. Uh, so yeah, really we got to do this video every year so we can always go look back to it. But also I do want to showcase to you guys uh, what's going on with my account this year, how we did, uh, how it turned out, and talk about some of the highlights. I think if you guys are interested, uh, we could do a discussion video on FIFA 21. I don't know if you guys are curious to know my thoughts. I think a lot of you guys do know my thoughts already. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. How's your club looking, guys? If you want to tweet it at me, uh, let me know. I'm down to go look through some of them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys achieved this year, how many months you played, if you stopped early, if you got on late, if you came back, what you achieved, if you got anything uh, that crazy. So first of all, we go to the transfer profit leaderboards. Now, I stopped trading. I stopped really doing any kind of navigation of my club. I would say seriously in probably May, uh, May or June, I would say. I think June is a fair thing to say. Uh, most of July, I spent uh, my time on the Rats to Glory, which you guys watch uh, and you guys know about, which is on PC. So that's not on PS. Uh, and I spent most of my time this year on PS4 uh, version of the game. I just started playing a little bit of the PS5 version to get used to this controller and to get used to the way the gameplay feels. So I ended with 414 million transfer profit, which is my most transfer profit of all time. Of all time, um, it is. The last uh, game, I think I had 300 or 320 on FIFA 19. I think that was my highest. And so this year, I, I actually didn't trade that much. Um, it's just over time, I've really gotten a lot better with the training. And so, yeah, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's where we finished in terms of transfer profit. Another good year of trading. Um, although I, I would say with trading as I'm enjoying it less and less every year, I think, it, I think it's becoming a lot more mainstream as you guys know. Um, and it's just, it's for me, not as fun. So my real focus this year was on creating content. Uh, and next year it's going to be even better. I, I finished a lot of things in my life that had to get done. And so I'm really looking to just go crazy next year with you guys, uh, and really go all out. Yeah. Full time vibes, but yeah, so today, guys, we're going to be checking out uh, some of the club that we got going on. And we've got 5.5 million coins in the top left corner of your screen, which you guys can see, which is a problem uh, because I've been really struggling to get rid of my coins. And I know that sounds like a flex, but it is true. Now, if you look at the transfer list, I sold Zidane. I tried him out last week. I didn't love him uh, at this stage of the game. I loved him a couple months ago, so we made some coins there. Uh, and Neymar is up on the transfer list. You guys might be not so sure about why, but we'll talk about that in a second. And then on the other, other than that, on the transfer list, we got a lot of icons, a lot of gold rares, non-rares, really waiting for EA to drop um, an upgraded SPC, I guess, if I was to do a final send, which I tried to do last week. And if you haven't seen that, check out the 88 plus video because it was crazy. Uh, now let's look at the club. This for me is kind of where I'm always the most proud every year, going through and looking at what I've achieved and, and my highest rated untradeables. Now for me, guys, untradeable is everything. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like getting cards and tradable, uh, a lot of people are always confused by it because they're like, Nick, you have so many coins. Why don't you just go on the market and buy the player? But I think a lot of people are starting to really warm up and open up to the idea of like the concept of really packing a card and having it be your own and, and first owner. It's really unique. And for me, it's something that I really enjoy chasing. It's kind of one of my internal motivations when I'm playing FIFA every year is to try my best uh, to really get these great first owner players. So Yes, guys, we've got, first of all, SBC Messi. This guy's worth every penny. He actually got me to play 55 games of FIFA since he was released, which is a lot of FIFA for the time of the year. Trust me, that's a lot. I think he was released uh, some point in August a couple weeks ago, maybe even like two weeks ago, and I've already played 55 games with him. So, yes, boys, Messi was a, a huge reason why, I, I, you know, for me, a huge motivation to play. Uh, 99 Neymar, guys. We literally packed 99 Neymar in a player pick, and that's why I said check out that video because... 99 Neymar was who we pick, got in a player pick, guys. So for me, that was a big one. For me, guys, Sergio Ramos uh, is is my favorite center back in this game. I think he's the best center back in the game. Um, and we'll go through and we may do a separate video about some of my favorite players. But 98 rated Ramos. We've got 98 Acuna untradeable. Uh, we've got 98 De Bruyne. Didn't get to use him too much. Again, a lot of these polls, guys, I'll be able to highlight the notable ones in terms of the ones that we got that were really there to warrior with us throughout the year. Because a lot of these guys, we got towards the end of the year when the pack look was a little bit better. The packs were pretty crazy. So, yeah, same thing with Lukaku. Although, check out that return for Lukaku chat. 
chat and people watch this video 14 goals seven assists in 11 matches that's a phenomenal return all in weekend league as well we've got 98 harry kane used him on the rats to glory did not love him uh so haven't really used him uh and no we do not have ronaldo and tradable so we move to the next page guys we do have a lot of loans in here okay so bruno fernandez guys i emptied the bank i spent 13 million coins during team of the year guys opening upgrade packs 13 mil i didn't get any out of the premier league one and then i opened one gold upgrade and i got team of the year bruno fernandez so Call it a little bit lucky, because that's what I would definitely call it. We did get really lucky, and we ended up getting Team of the Year Bruno Fernandez after spending 13 mil with only one Team of the Year Neuer to show for. But Bruno saw a lot of time in our club. Definitely one of the best, if not the best CDM. I mean, he's box to box. He's so good in this game. I uh, can play left mid, right mid with the high, high work rates. Look at that return. I mean, that's a really good return for Bruno for me. Uh, guys, we got Mbappe during Team of the Season. I uh, hit him out of a League One uh, Premium Players Pack, I think it was crazy card one of the glitchiest cards in the game we've got a more than a, a goal contribution a game return on mbappe and look man for me getting to play 200 plus games with a player from team of the season on is great guys that's a lot of mileage uh at this point in the year so for how I was happy with that we've got kimmich one of my favorite players in, in real life but a, definitely a pest on the pitch a lot of people uh <laughs> kimmich pisses them off and i can understand it uh we've got r9 ronaldo which for me is my best pack pull this year if not it was if it wasn't for 99 neymar we got Air 9, guys, out of um, a Icon Moments player pick. It was just an SBC one, and it was one day during Wrath of Glory when I was checking out the content for everybody, and boom, there came Air 9. We ended up playing 32 games with him, and you know what? This guy grew on me a lot. I really do like him. Uh, thought all of his other versions were a little bit stiff this year. This version is great. Uh, Path to Glory Vini, not my favorite this year, but good wide player. Uh, you know, again, crazy untradeable club, guys. Again, this is my best untradeable club ever. I've never had an untradeable club with really this many high ratings. The amount of high rated you're seeing here is pretty nuts. We've got Nani, who just got his upgrade today. Didn't love him before his upgrade, so going to have to see how his post-upgrade kind of really feels and, and all that. We've got Jordi Alba here. Again, a lot of these guys aren't too notable because we packed them so much later in the year that the mileage I was able to put on them wasn't that high. Manuel Neuer here, team of the year, 162 games played with him. Gerard Piquet, 22 games. Wasn't the biggest fan of Piquet, to be honest, guys. Was not a huge fan of him, but 96 rated. Had to welcome him to the club. Next page, we've got footies Renato Sanchez. Um, All black there. Delict there. Not really used. Llorente is a great player. I used him a lot. I had him tradable. Kind of sold him, then got him back. Uh, other untradables. We got some loans there. Di Maria. Got him. He was a cool, cool card. This is probably one of my favorite untradables uh, in my club this year. And the reason I say it's one of my favorites is because he was like a 250 to 400 KSBC. And when he was released, he was good, but he wasn't that crazy. You really had to back Italy for this guy to... Get that willingly upgrade to to the five star five star, which is the really unique part. I think not a lot of people did this card. He also had the PSG link, and then he transferred to Roma and linked to one of my favorite players in this game. Um, but yeah, really for me, this is such a unique untradeable. I think a lot of people didn't really do this guy. Um, so let me know in the comments if you did if you did complete the Florenzi SPC. I'd always take the risk on a card that you think could be crazy. Look at Florenzi and how he turned out. Right, all ninety rated plus stats, high high work rates, and five star five star. So. Pretty crazy card there. Same thing goes with Jack Relish. It was a shame that England actually didn't win because if England won, I believe he was going to be 5-5. But yeah, still a good card. Uh, we ended up getting Garincha in an icon pack, I think in the middle, somewhere in the middle of team of the season, which was pretty crazy. Um, didn't really use him a ton. Wasn't the biggest fan of him. I liked him a lot more last year, but Garincha is always good, guys. And I think I'm not going to be too greedy here. These cards are all amazing. Elshar, one of my favorite players in the game. This card specifically didn't see too much mileage, but love this guy for sure. Veron got towards the end. Jesse Lingard, you know the vibes. Chiesa, Havertz, Locatelli, Murata, Cavani, um, Laporte. These are all untradeable, guys. Didn't really use too many of them. Thibaut Courtois, definitely one of my most recommended keepers this year. Very reliable in net, especially this team of the season, SBC. Really liked him a lot. Tevez didn't get to use. Like Tavi Martinez, Iniesta, same thing goes. Liked him as well. Uh, Fonzie, wish I had gone Fonzie, team of the year, untradeable. We've got the club goat, Carlos Puyol, who I was using him uh, a, a decent amount. In a, in a fullback meta, and I and I did like him. Raul was solid. Uh, Mario Götze didn't get to use enough. Uh, Erickson, we love you. Cannavaro, Spinazzola, loved him on the rats. Um, so yeah, Cannavaro was a guy that definitely saw a lot of mileage. 428 games for me. I love Cannavaro on FIFA. I think he's always really good. Um, and I think we really we really put him on the map. Not not in real life. If you, if you watch football, you know how good this guy was. But we really put him on the map in FIFA in 19. He was just amazing. So a lot of people like him since that day. Uh, Nedved. This was one of the original Icon Moments releases, guys, uh, as an SBC. And Neda did great things for us this year. He's a very versatile player. So this was definitely a player that I was really happy to get. 
Didn't love Balak. Had a couple moments or two in my club. Um, liked Balak a lot in 19. I think this Marcelo flashback is really unique. I, I don't know if a lot of people really did this card. And I was still using him in teams a couple of weeks ago. So for me, Marcelo was a pretty cool card uh, to kind of keep and have and, and, and rotate in and out of teams. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, 158 games played on Marcelo, 10 goals scored and 14 assists, obviously five-star skills and high-low work rates. Very expensive SBC, but I took the hit and did it anyways. Coutinho was okay. A lot of people liked him. I was the biggest fan. Douglas Costa, I did really like. Uh, very unique card. Very nice dribbling. Tap Sobo was an incredible center back. Uh, very, very good SBC this year. Same thing with Zagadou. This was a showdown, um, so that was cool. Lozano, a demon card. Very, very good in this game. Uh, very annoying to play against. Uh, Alaba, love this guy. Just got him, though, man. Um, so wish I had gotten him a little bit earlier in the year. Theo Hernandez is great. Didn't get to use him too much. Paulo Dybala used this card a ton. Great card released. I think it was around Team of the Year. Uh, a very good card. Obviously, his footies card. I don't have his footies card in my club because I got I was doing him on the Rats to Glory, so I wasn't doing a lot of these SBCs at the time. Prime Kaká, we've got 121 games on. This card, ladies and gentlemen, has probably my greatest goal to game return in my club. It's got a better return than team of the season Mbappe. What a freaking player. Foot birthday Royces. I can't tell you how many goals I scored with this guy in just the naughtiest ways this year. He was truly incredible, man. 150 goals, 126 assists, and 199 games. Crazy return. Essien was also very solid. We've got Jude Bellingham. Flashback Dembele. Didn't love him this year. Um, Boateng saw some mileage for sure. Flashback Ribery, another very high played card in my club. Five star, five star, definitely more expensive SBC. I think the biggest thing you can see with my FIFA 21 club is I definitely took some risks on some players that I really liked because Ribery, Marcelo, uh, even Royce, none of these players are really cheap. They were like 500k plus SBCs, but you say, you know what? I'm going to do them. Now, guys, this might be the greatest value for SBC for me this year. Uh, there's been other competitors, but... Moment Zambrata is still extremely usable to this day, and man, I was happy I did him right away. I got almost 400 games played with him this year. A great wide mid, a great center back, a great right back, left back. He could do it all. He could even play center mid, so liked him a lot. Foot birthday of war, a great return from the midfield slash striker. I think I did use him a lot at striker. This was a unique card because I got him out of a player pick. I, I sent a lot of player picks for foot birthday, and yeah, this guy was very good. And Babu... Uh, one of the craziest defenders, if not still the best defender in this game. I mean, this card is crazy. Same thing, Kyle Walker's really good. Shame he didn't get the upgrade on the showdown. Player of the Month, son. This is such an early club legend this year. We did his Player of the Month. Out of the Player of the Month, in the packs, we packed Neymar. So, a whole crazy story there. You already know, guys. If Sun gets an SBC, your boy's doing it. Foot birthday, Vidal. Amazing card. I remember when we had this whole debate about Foot Birthday Vidal or Renato. Obviously, both of those were very good cards. David Neres was an amazing showdown card. You guys can see by the return. Uh, is that Free Snabry that I see? Yes, it is, man. Free Snabry. You know what? Free Snabry might be giving Royce a run for his money on the return because this return is crazy as well. It's almost a goal to a game. Uh, flashback Robin, really cool card. Kulisevsky, an amazing card. This was a pro card this year. A lot of people used him. Curtis Jones. We've got the legend, Iceman, Elshar, the original in, in the, in the flesh, guys. What a clutch player he was. Bobby Moore, this guy was a part of our 26-0 weekend league where we lost. Uh, we got 26-1. Marquino, some great value with his freeze. And, uh, flashback Ronaldo. Leroy Fur got an early showdown. This was one of the worst SBCs of the year. I, I really regret crafting that. Renato for birthday. Uh, Jesse Lingard. We've got Molet. That's such a... Molet? I don't know how to say it. Beckham, the free card. Kleber. Okay. Who would miss out on Kleber? Not me. But yeah, guys, let me know if there's any of these cards you guys see in your see in my club and you're like, wow, I forgot that card even existed. Mukieli was one of the earliest objective cards. Uh, so that was really cool. Red Felix. Uh, I've got some reds throughout the year that I risked, guys, as that upgrade came out. We've got Pope here. Pope with 350 games. Kunde with 345 games. So Kunde saw a lot of mileage. Duncan was very good. Uh, Rodrigo was very good. So that's all the untradeables, guys. If we look at, you know, a couple more of the value high to lows tradables, uh, you'll see we've got a couple of crazy ones in here. And, uh, you know, those would really consist of after all these loans, which I got to get rid of. We've got Moments Maradona. Uh, we've got Maldini, Cruyff. Ronaldinho, uh, Xavi, Hullet, uh, all these guys. Mateus, this guy is an amazing defensive mid. I'm so happy because I love Mateus. We've got crazy tradables, overpaid for Messi, uh, 99 Ronaldo. We've got actually a first owner, Moment Vandersar, which we packed. Crazy enough, we packed him. Uh, Chilwell, Sterling, so good. Uh, Pogba, Paredes. 
Hazard, Firmino. I wonder why Firmino and Hazard and Pogba are after, or why those two are after. So weird, but Verratti, man, what a player Verratti was this year. Uh, we've got the infamous Messi, guys. I bid on the web app. It ran my price up to the max price. Stuck, lost 4 million coins in the first or second week of FIFA. Um, gosh, man, what a sad day that was. We've got team of the season, Sun, first owner for my rewards. Insigne, what a player Insigne was as well. Eder Militao, what a center back. Uh, and then, guys, if you really look into it a little bit more, uh, we have the Neymar that we packed out of the sun with what a return that is. Neymar, this was just such a crazy year for Neymar. And that's really in terms of tradable, but I got to showcase to you guys, where is the legendary Messi? The team of the year Messi, guys, and how much mileage do we have on him? Look at this return, man. 481 goals, 327 assists in 563 games. And the reason I love Messi so much this year was the finesse shots with Messi this year were so, so fun. Uh, they were truly, truly incredible. So this was the team that I had used last week in league. I've been rotating this team a ton. I had been using tons of variations uh, in which I would have like R9 even for Maradona. I would use Mbappe. I would use Cruyff. So I've been moving this team around a lot. Uh, and I'll probably even try out Nani at some point soon. So the nice part with this team that I've really set up, Ramos is definitely one of my end game center backs. He is he is always in these. Mateus is my end game defensive mid. Neymar is in like every team that I build. Um, and then really I've been using this team and I have gotten a 198. We did a video on the second channel about that, um, to really kind of showcase to you guys what we did. We also did like an icon team at a certain point. Uh, so we've made a lot of really cool teams this year, guys. I think this was my 198 team. I don't remember exactly what I was doing here. Uh, but if I search rating high to low, uh, we probably already have that messy in here, right? Let's see. We do have that messy. There's probably like one player missing here. Maybe, maybe Kane or Lukaku. Uh, that we could probably put in and, and and make this thing happen. Although I think even even with that, we're not gonna have the full camp. There was a way. I forget how I did it. There was a way, and I know my keeper right now is Hazard, so you guys are all laughing at me. Uh, but there was a way that I did this whole thing uh, to get a 198 at some point. I just don't really remember what I had done. Um, but I think I honestly want to say it was like a Cunha there, and I had like a wide mid here. Like was it Vinny? I wonder if this is what I had done. That's still 197. I think I'm missing a 99 maybe in the starting lineup. So maybe we got to put a 99 there. But yeah, we had a 198 at a certain point. Um, and that's really the club tour, guys. It was a crazy, crazy year uh, this year, just generally. Like, I, you know, I'll do another video talking a little bit more about my thoughts on the game. Um, but yeah, we end the game. And I've been doing full sends with packs with still, um, you know, a, a hefty sum of coins to spare. Uh, with with stuff on the transfer list, with stuff in the club. I mean, even with stuff in the club, with all of these icons we have, you know, these guys are all still of pretty solid value. Um, Maldini, you know, he's making his way back up to three mil. Ronaldinho, I think we bought at two nine, and he's like three six now because basically what's happening now is that this is towards the end of the year where a lot of people will just kind of settle. They'll buy some of their teams. Uh, and they really chill out a little bit. So people will go on the market. Stuff gets a little bit more rare. And people will will buy stuff for their team, their end game team. So that's really what you guys are seeing right now on the market. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we've got happening. And, uh, you know, so that's why some of these guys start to rise. And I really think that's about it, guys. I mean, I think that's the final club tour. So that's really what we've got going on. I don't really think EA is going to drop any other crazy SPCs unless we get a five-star, five-star, like Ronaldo at Man United, which... I just don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. Interesting year, to say the least, on FIFA 21. But definitely my best year in terms of what I've achieved in my club and what I have. Um, so, yeah. Cheers to you guys for watching this club all year. Um, obviously, you guys got to watch a little bit more of the Wrath of Glory. But this was the main account. This is through a lot of trading, a lot of hard work, and a lot of grinding, guys. None of this account was easy. And honestly, my pack look got really good towards the end of the year. And that seems to be the trend. The last year or two, my pack look towards the end of the year has just been crazy. And the first nine months is not great. So maybe next year that's going to change. Who knows? We're going to see. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Peace.